Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I just finished my stream on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and they kept being one theme of multiple people coming into the stream going Spartan you gotta see the new teaser trailer. So here we are. I'm gonna do a live reaction to this new ship that they're teasing. So let's get into it. Now I do have the sound off because I don't want to get copyright struck. It's just the way it is. So, uh, this is a pre-final version, so it may not, you know, be as devastating as it is in this video. So, just keep that in mind when it releases. But overall, it's the Dutch cruisers, right? That's, that's what this is, the Provincian. <clears throat> I don't know much about them, other than they are a hybrid cruiser. What is a hybrid cruiser? It's a cruiser that also has planes and gets to do airstrikes. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what this is. So we've got defensive AA. Shocker. We're going in to use the main guns against a Mogami. We've got armor piercing. And here comes the uh, the bread and butter. The airstrikes. So it looks like you get to get three drops of air or of airstrikes. Which is just silly enough in its own right. Because they're literally just calling planes out of nowhere at this point. But that is absurd amounts of damage. Uh, despite the lower top speed uh, being only 32 knots, you also get the fact that this thing gets to, uh, yeah, and they just took each other out. Uh, but this thing also gets the fact that it, it has uh, the engine boost. So it's got defensive AA, engine boost, and it has this freaking, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I'll find out real soon. Uh, as you guys know, this is the last week of the campaign, which means we'll get patch notes on Thursday. So let me know what you guys think. Are you excited? Are you guys looking forward to it? Um, let's go to WoW's wiki real quick. And see if we can find uh, the Provincian and look at what I think is possible. So I think, obviously, this is a premium. Uh, it'll be a um, campaign ship, probably. It's a tier 7, so it'll probably be this, this coming campaign ship. But as you can see on, on PC, the Netherlands has an entire line of cruisers. And the Provincian is a premium version. So usually they release a premium ship before releasing a full line at some point. So I wonder if we're not going to get like a premium ship now and then in a couple of months, maybe even this update, we start to get the Dutch cruisers in early access. One of the reasons that they do that is because they bring this thing in. It's probably going to be busted right out the gate. And then what will happen is they will adjust the line before they bring it into the game, in theory. But we'll see. I can't wait to find out, that's for sure. Um, as a battleship captain, I'm a little scared. But at the same time, I'm not really. It's a new, it's a new gimmick. There's going to be a lot of people who feel a lot of types of way about things, but... Until I actually get my hands on it, I won't know. But uh, as you can see, I mean, the upgrade, uh, Dezeven Provincian is a Dutch special premium tier 8 cruiser on, on PC. So it'll be a tier 7 for us, or at least it showed it as, as a tier 7. The upgraded post-war project for cruiser Dezeven Provincian. The cruiser started to look like a modern ship. Her superstructures had been enlarged, torpedo launchers, and onboard hydroplanes removed. 57 millimeter anti-aircraft artillery was mounted and the number of main guns which occupied four twin gun mounts restored to the value specified in the initial project. The Zevin Provincian entered service in 1953 and between 1962 and 1964 Terrier missile launchers were installed on board the ship in place of her rear turrets thus making her a missile cruiser. The ship was sold to Peru in 1975 where she served until 1999. So I wonder if they're bringing this in as, as a Dutch cruiser, aka Pan-Euro, or if they'll bring it as a Pan-American cruiser, <clears throat> right? Am I crazy? Last I checked, Peru was in South America, so we'll see. I don't know which they'll bring it in as. But either way, you got 152 millimeter, 53 caliber Bofors that reload pretty quickly. I mean, it, over here is showing a base reload of six and a half seconds. It'll probably change coming to console. Um, if it's six and a half seconds as a tier eight, they probably drop that down to tier seven on ours. So maybe, maybe an eight second reload or something. We'll see. Um, 
but yeah, it's definitely interesting. And it, it does show HE shells and AP shells as well as all of the fun stuff. So I don't know. It's going to be an interesting one for sure. But if you guys are excited, please let me know. Because I want to I wanna know what your guys' opinion is on this particular ship. But for now, if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.